AS Doc Rock 1007. So I was going to put my music lesson on here today so I think some other people could benefit from it. But what this is about is that I've been working on playing and singing. I heard it through the grapevine, the way that Creedence Clearwater did it. Well, everybody that shows tabs for it shows it to be played in standard tuning with the first chord correctly being D minor. But in standard tuning, on the acoustic guitar, uh, it sounds like this. So in the standard tuning, the chord is right, but it just doesn't really drone. Like when you hear the introduction to Credence, I heard it through the grapevine. Couldn't find any reference that said that they did the song with the guitar tuned to D minor or one of them tuned to D minor, but I suspect that they did, or at least dropped D to lower string to get that drone. But I read that they did, that was a thing that they did with a lot of their songs. So, so I open tuned the guitar to D minor. That way it sounds like this. It's a different guitar, it doesn't have quite the same sound, but you do get that which you can't get without dropping the, the, uh, the D string, so at least. And then if you drop, if you play D minor, open gives you the D minor. You play it by borrowing the fifth. I borrow in the fifth and the seventh, but you have to sharpen the F string to make it an, a major chord. Or. Now, I'm not going to use on this video attempt to show you how to play the song in open D minor but rather instead show you the mid neck part of the scale lesson from Guy. Notice that here on this guitar diagram that you see you're looking at Guy so you're looking at somebody else playing guitar. So the guitar diagram is a mirror image of that so that when you read the guitar diagram it is what it is corresponding to holding the guitar yourself and looking down so that the way that you see the guitar that you're holding and look down at it will correspond to the guitar diagram. So I don't have it flipped around as if you're learning it from looking at the other person playing it although guys right there playing it. Uh, for you to see that as well. Okay, so we're talking about this D minor solo idea at the ninth fret of the third string. That's going to be your home base. Think about that as home. Second finger. That's going to be the main little section. We're going to go above and below, and I'll show you all that. But nine, then on the second string is eight and ten with fingers one and three. So think about. And that you're not one. you're not playing this note here. No, okay. don't do that one. So you have nine next string, second string, eight and ten. And I'm going down to seven there. So it's almost like a equilateral rhombus. Seven, nine on the third string, eight and ten. Now to get down further, you have to go straight across, fourth string, seventh fret, slide down to the fifth, fifth string, eighth fret, fifth fret. So five, eight on the fifth string, five, seven on the fourth string straight across. That's the trick because of our tuning. Seven, nine on the third, eight and ten. Go up to twelve. You're on that. Oh, you went up to that? Second string, yep. Ten, twelve. 
that would be the scale position. Can mess around there, 10 and 12 on strings 1 and 2. It'll definitely help. See you soon.